Hey, good afternoon. I'm Texas Storm Chasers David Rammer coming up to 3 p.m. on Sunday, the 26th of February, 2023, in the midst of what is becoming a high-impact weather day across several regions of Texas. This is going to be the wind forecast for the remainder of the afternoon through tomorrow morning. Arrows are going to be your wind direction, and the background colors are going to be your wind speeds. Uh, we've got a significant dust storm underway in El Paso right now with winds gusting out of the west at over 60 miles per hour. Guadalupe Mountains, which is east of El Paso, east of the borderland, still in pretty much far west Texas, we're looking at winds over 100 miles per hour over the upcoming several hours and into the evening. We're going to have a literal wall of dust moving into the panhandle west Texas as we see those winds increased over 60 to 75 miles per hour behind a surface dry line. And then as we continue into tonight, we're going to see those very strong winds continue to push east with the lean edge of the cool front. Could see wind gusts over 55 to 65 miles an hour in parts of West Texas, the Permian Basin, the Northern Big Country, Northwest Texas, and much of Oklahoma. And east of the dry line with the southeast winds, it's still going to be quite windy this afternoon, even windier tonight with winds up to 50 miles an hour. And that's what we're going to be dealing with, wind. In terms of severe thunderstorms, we are expecting a significant severe weather outbreak later this afternoon and tonight. Initial thunderstorm development likely to be underway by about 4 p.m. or so, very near Interstate 27 from near Plainview to Amarillo, maybe up towards Dumas and Stratford. Those storms are going to be racing east at 70 miles an hour. We could see supercell structures over the first few hours of the event with semi-discrete storm modes, large hail, destructive hurricane force winds, the potential for tornadoes. As those storms move east this evening, they'll congeal into a squall line, likely becoming a derecho, or a long-lived, widespread wind event. We could see winds in portions of Oklahoma, western Oklahoma, central Oklahoma, northern Oklahoma, between 80 and 110 miles per hour, whether they are straight line or tornadic. In terms of the threat for tornadoes, here's the latest outlook. Highest threat for tornadoes is going to be across portions of, one second please, there you go, there's the latest one, across portions of northwest Texas, the far eastern Texas panhandle, and to about the western half of Oklahoma. Again, any discrete or semi-discrete storm modes, or even honestly supercells embedded within the squall line, will have an enhanced potential producing tornadoes. Given the very fast storm movement, these could be somewhat long-lived, long-track tornadoes, and given the historic wind fields honestly we're looking at historic wind fields top of the top of the analog line some of these tornadoes are probably going to be rather rowdy in terms of their intensities so be weather aware whether we're dealing with a squall line with 80 plus mile an hour winds or tornadoes or probably both be weather aware this evening. You'll notice the highest threat for severe weather will be north of the Red River this evening and tonight, but we could still see some storms south of the Red River. Here's the latest high-rise rapid refresh model for tonight. See storms firing up after 4 o'clock, moving east. And there are some cellular structures. We That is something that's become a little more evident the last couple hours. We're trying to trend towards more cellular structures, which would increase the tornado threat in addition to damaging winds and some hail across the eastern Texas panhandle, Oklahoma, perhaps northwest Texas. You'll see we could have a squall line in the Rowdy Department for a couple hours in northwest Texas in the big country, but that line is going to outrun its instability, outrun the source of lift as it moves into north Texas, and you're going to see that squall line is going to end up decreasing in intensity pretty quick as it moves into North Texas and the threat for severe weather will decrease rapidly. Still, there's going to be strong winds, maybe some small hail, but the highest severe weather threat tonight, well, let's say this, late this afternoon, this evening, will be eastern Panhandle initially, then northwest Texas, the northern big country, and western North Texas, western Texoma, before it all essentially falls apart south of the Red River in terms of a more significant widespread severe weather threat. North of the Red River, you can see Oklahoma's just, they got problems. They're going to probably have a major impact from this high wind, widespread damaging wind event. Uh, wouldn't be surprising to see some grid damage in terms of the amount of power outages we're expecting to see. So, not good for them. We have multiple chasers heading to the target area in the eastern Texas panhandle in southwest Oklahoma. You can watch our live streams a bit later on this afternoon on the Texas Storm Chasers YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and be notified 
when we go live. We'll be keeping an eye on things. You can do the same. Have a good afternoon.